Hello! Do you like vegetables? Do you like healthy food? Do you speak English? Today we are going to play a very simple game. I explain you the word and you have to guess it and learn if you didn't know that. Ready? Steady? Go! And this is Slava Banana. This level is pre-intermediate. You listen, you guess, and you write down a new word if it's a new word for you. Number one. It's a vegetable which is very popular in Russia. In my family, we always had it for dinner, we always had it for, uh, for lunch. My mom used it to cook soup. What's the Russian traditional soup? That's borscht. <laughs> and we need this vegetable for borscht. What am I talking about? One, two, three. It's a beetroot. Did you get it? I hope so. Number two. It's also some kind of a vegetable. It was in a very popular cartoon about one sailor who add that and became very strong. What vegetable makes you strong? It's green, it's healthy, it's very good for your health, for your body. So what am I talking about? Think. That's spinach. Did you know that? Did you guess? Write it down if it's a new word for you. Three. This word is very simple. There is a stereotype that rabbits like it. I don't know, I think rabbits like all vegetables. Well, that's a long orange vegetable, which is good for kids when they're growing. <laughs> so what vegetable is good for health and good if you're a child? It's orange, it's long, this is... Carrot! Did you know that? Of course you did. Number four. This vegetable is a big part of the English cuisine or Scottish or even Russian. It used to be used, they used that as flowers long ago. Now we just eat it. It's round, it's a root as well, and it's brown. You wash it, you peel it, and you can cook a lot of dishes using this vegetable. What am I talking about? Potato! Easy! There is a great idiom, a couch potato. A couch potato, this is the person who is always relaxing on the couch, on the sofa, doesn't want to move. Are you a couch potato? I hope you're not. Number five. That vegetable is very good if it's only a little of it in your dish. It's usually white, it has a very strong smell. Some people believe that it can protect you from vampires. What am I talking about? It's a garlic. Do you like garlic? I love it, but it's not really good <laughs> for smell. Number six. Number six is easy. You eat it a lot, I believe. It's long and green. It's fresh and it's easy to buy, doesn't matter where you are. What am I talking about? Cucumber. Very good. Number seven. That's something which is not really a vegetable and it's not really a fruit. Some people like it, some people don't, but I know that a lot of people like to pick them in the forest in autumn. I actually don't like to pick them, but I love to eat them. What am I talking about? Mushrooms. Do you like to pick mushrooms in the forest? So the verb is to pick. Pick berries or pick mushrooms. Easy? I hope so. Number eight. It's also a vegetable which is strongly associated with autumn. Especially with Halloween. Yeah, I think that's easy now and you already know. It's round, big and orange. What am I talking about? Pumpkin. Of course, that's a pumpkin. 
I like pumpkins, they're beautiful and I like to make porridge. Oh, actually to eat, I don't know how to make it. The next one, number nine. People tell that it's not really a vegetable. Some uh, people tell that it's a berry or it's even a fruit. Oh, I don't believe it. I think it's a vegetable which is round, red and that uh, can be used for juice as well or for most of salads. What am I talking about? One, two, three. Tomato! That's tomato. Do you like tomatoes? I like them. And number 10, the last one. This is not really a vegetable, it's a root. You remember this word, yeah, like beetroot, potato is also a root. So that's a root and you eat very little of it. You add it to your drinks, sometimes to your dishes. It's very popular in the Indian cuisine. You can use it for dishes and for drinks. That's good for health, especially if you're sick and it's very delicious with honey. What am I talking about? Ginger, that's ginger. <laughs> well, I hope you know all of the words. I hope you remember them. So, let's review all of them. Very good. If you eat these vegetables, you become very healthy because they're all good for your health. So, eat more vegetables, eat more greens because they are good for your brains, for your memory, and you will learn more vocabulary. Improve your English. Leave your comment. Write all vegetables that you like to eat. See you later. Ну, вообще, самое важное, наверное, самое сложное – это учить слова. Ну, потому что как мы можем, ну, как мы учимся говорить и не знаем слов. И бесполезно учить слова просто списком. Всегда это должна быть какая-то, ну, какое-то развлечение. Самое простое – это карточка с картинкой, потому что возникает образ, появляется слово, образ отпечатывается. И это самое эффективное, потому что мы так учили родной язык, мы не записывали слово-перевод, слово-перевод. Нам не на что было его переводить. Мы знали, что вот эта вот картинка картофеля, это картинка помидора, и у нас это как-то ассоциируется с чем-то в голове, с языком. Так что, если мы учим слова, нужно уходить от списков. Рисуйте, подрисовывайте, придумывайте предложения. Ну, как угодно, только не списками. Нельзя списками учить слова.